Welcome to our lecture online and today we're going to look at something new in algebra called sequences and series and there's going to be a general introduction later on we'll show you some more examples but just a general introduction to get a feel of what these things are so first of all we have two different kinds we can either have an arithmetic or a geometric sequence or series and the only difference between a uh, sequence and a series that in a sequence you simply write out the numbers with a comma in between you just list the numbers in a series, you add the numbers together. Again, in a geometric sequence, you simply list the numbers. In a geometric series, you add the numbers together. But they're not just any set of numbers. There is a very specific type of number. For an arithmetic sequence or series, we can take any number and subtract the previous number from it, and the difference will always be exactly the same number. For example, we can take 4 minus 1, and we get 3. We can take 7 minus 4, we get 3. We get 10 minus 7, we get 3. We take 13 minus 10, we get 3. And I think you see the pattern here, which means that we can take any element or any number of the sequence, let's say a, k plus 1, and subtract the previous number from that, a sub k, and we get the common difference, as we call it. The difference, the common difference between every one of the numbers in the sequence or series. So this is how we in generally write the difference between any two numbers in a sequence or series. That's an arithmetic sequence or series. We always get the very same number. And so three in this case is called the common difference in this particular sequence or series. For a geometric series, it's a little bit different. If we take any number and divide it by the previous number, for example, 3 divided by 1, we get 3 or 9 divided by 3, we get 3, or 27 divided by 9, we get 3, or 81 divided by 27, we get 3, and I think you see the pattern here. So here we can say that if we take a of k plus 1, so we take any element of the sequence or of the series and divide it by the previous one, a sub k, that will always equal a ratio r, and I know my r's are kind of strange, so let me write the r like this, and that would then be known as the common ratio. So which means that if you have a sequence or a series, which is geometric, if we take any number in that series uh, or in that sequence and divide it by the previous number, we always get the very same number, which is the common ratio between the numbers in the series or the sequence. And that will at least give you an understanding in general what an arithmetic or geometric sequence or series. Again, the only difference between sequence and series is that for a sequence, you simply list the numbers with a comma in between. For a series, you simply add the numbers. Again, list the numbers, add the numbers. The difference between the two types, arithmetic means if you subtract one from the previous one, or the previous one from the one, I should say, you always get the same difference, called the common difference. If you take any element and divide it by the previous element, you always get the same ratio called the common ratio. And now, at least, we're ready to show you some examples.